Hey yo, it is Joe, and today on the Pop 100, not only am I wearing my Goonies-inspired awesome outfit, but we're going to be talking Avengers. That's right, we're going to be talking more specifically about Mark Ruffalo and his big giant Hulk green spoiler of a mouth. Oh Mark, it's so easy to love you. You were on Jimmy Fallon last week, and on that, um, whether it be a trip up or whether it be purposeful, it doesn't matter. Um, he was talking to Jimmy and kind of let loose uh, the new um, unknown title title of the uh, new uh, Avengers movie coming out next year. And it was kind of a surprise to everybody and got a lot of chatter, uh, a lot of press about it. And not only for the slip up itself, um, but for the Twitter conversations that happened afterwards with the producers uh, and the creators of the Avengers movies, uh, as well as Jimmy Fallon playing in that, too. I love it all. I love it all. Um, he is very pop marketing uh, and uh, there's there's three things I think that any marketer can learn from watching this living case study uh, going on right now in the, the world of superhero nerds. So the first thing that modern marketers can take from old Mark's um, slip up on the Fallon show is that, uh, well, actually, it's one of my favorite quotes of all time from no other than Mike Tyson himself, who said that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Uh, and that just means that... Uh, um, all plans are great until they aren't. Uh, and I think this is really powerful for modern marketers today uh, and in anyone in that plans are dynamic. Uh, there's a lot of different things going on. There's, uh, uh, there's timing and there's uh, just stuff that's not within your power. And we have to plan, but we have to plan for the unplanned. So for Marvel, um, they've always been really good at this. Uh, instead of being very structured in that plan and then whenever it goes sideways not knowing what to do, uh, Marvel's become very fluid. So when something like this happens, uh, instead of getting the lawyers out, uh, they go to Twitter uh, and try to make PR out of the slip-up, which they've become very, very good at, uh, as you can tell uh, with uh, what happened last week. And the quicker you can act and the quicker you can give an answer, the more likely you can make lemons into lemonade, the more likely you're going to uh, build an opportunity from something uh, if you have that in place. And the third thing is uh, really connected to both the others. So you've you have a really dynamic plan and you've planned for the unplanned. Uh, uh, you uh, are able to act quickly and you have a plan to be able to um, make an opportunity uh, out of something that could be a risk. Uh, the third thing you have to do is, e e whether it be clients or yourself uh, internally, is make sure that you uh, have a plan on who is the one to make those final decisions. Now, you don't ever really think that you need to have that plan of um, who will be able to speak for the company or who will be able to speak for the campaign, uh, but you're going to need it. Uh, sometime you're going to need it, and if you don't put it in place, um, the people that get asked if they can make that decision usually ping that, uh, uh, keep pinging that up the ladder because they don't want to put their butt on the line. And uh, it's a lot easier to take care of all this planning uh, beforehand rather than um, after the fact. Ah, it's fun to watch. Uh, Mark Ruffalo is one of the best. Uh, the Twitter going back and forth um, where they said that they fired him and he was like, can we talk about this, guys? Uh, it's, it's been great. And that is it for day seven. Make sure you sign up for my weekly Zeitgeist emails. You can find that at pop-marketer.com. Uh, and also check out um, Damien and I's podcast. It is the Explicit Content Podcast. We are recording the third of our episodes uh, sometime this week. Uh, so much love. Talk soon. See you on day eight. I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, the other thing that I could have talked, that I thought about talking about today was if it was planned. I don't know. They're so, Marvel's so good at it that it might have been, it, it, it might have been a planned, planned thing all along for him to leak it. I, I think it's a really, it would be a really cool move, an authentic move um, to have it come from the people that portray uh, your characters in the movie. It is something that they just are super rad at. So maybe, 
maybe that was the plan all the time, but I think any great brand, um, you're always left wondering the actions that they do. Um, did they mean to do it or not? Uh, it, it happens all the time. I love them. I, I love it. I love it.